On Friday, Executive Mosaic highlighted the accomplishments of Young Bang, Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology for the U.S. Army, and Dana Barnes, President of Dataminer's Government Business Unit, in honor of their 2024 WASH 100 award wins. CISA on Wednesday announced new initiatives to help ensure the security of the open source ecosystem as part of the conclusion of a two-day summit. Kara Abercrombie, most recently Deputy Assistant to the President and Coordinator for Defense Policy and Arms Control at the National Security Council, officially assumed responsibility. The Defense Innovation Unit, in partnership with three Air Force organizations, has awarded multiple contracts to prototype technologies that could reduce drag on legacy logistics aircraft. The National Security Agency, in partnership with the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, has released a list of its top 10 mitigation strategies that organizations should take to enhance the security of their cloud environments. Rob Shady, Acting Deputy Program Executive Officer for Enterprise Information Systems at the U.S. Army, has accepted a new position as National Background Investigation Services Program Manager at the Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency. The Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management has released a draft request for proposals regarding a potential five-year, $90 million small business set-aside contract for technical support services. Ken Bible, Chief Information Security Officer at the Department of Homeland Security, and Eileen Vadreen, Chief Data and Artificial Intelligence Officer of the U.S. Air Force, will step down from their positions later this month. NASA has finished developing and testing a group of small rovers that will autonomously map the lunar surface. The Commercial Remote Sensing Regulatory Affairs within the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Office of Space Commerce has started soliciting public comments to determine whether to issue additional guidance or launch a narrow rulemaking concerning the disposal of on-orbit satellites to mitigate orbital debris.